Coming up in this Brightline Construction Update. In this update, I look at the construction progress between Stuart and Jupiter. We'll start in Rayo, then work south through Stuart, Port Salerno, and Hobe Sound before ending up in Jupiter. The Rayo Waterway Bridge is up first. Here at the Rayo Waterway, the first half of the new bridge has been completed and is in service. The old bridge has been demolished and work is beginning on the second half of the new one. The new second track is now in use all the way to the sewer drawbridge. Since my last visit, this temporary trestle has been built out over a portion of the waterway as the old bridge was demolished. New pilings are on site and a template is in place where the first one will go. Next, we'll head just south of downtown Stewart. Here, ties are laid out waiting for rail to be attached. None of the crossings in Stewart have been rebuilt yet, but that should change soon. Next, we'll take a look at the section between Port Salerno and Hope Sound. We'll start with a look at the new CPC branch crossover. The signal equipment has been up here for several months, but work only recently began on the track here. I'm looking at this from a trail inside Sea Branch Preserve State Park. This path parallels the crossover for its entire length, so it's a great place to rail fan from. A signal crew was at work on this Sunday afternoon. This large bungalow is the main one controlling this crossover. The smaller one on the left is for the positive train control system. Another worker was installing some signal cabling over here.
and here are the signals on the south end. Here's a look back north at the crossover and the trail. Back at those bungalows, the pedestal on the left is where a future PTC antenna will go. This little tortoise came out to check on me. The old Dixie Highway crossing was closed to add the second track. With Old Dixie closed, I had to backtrack north following a detour to continue my journey. Subroad bed is spread here. Work is proceeding here on the Manatee Waterway Canal Bridge with pilings currently going in. Materials are being stored on this side. This wall has now been painted. Another short bridge will be built here. Now back on Old Dixie heading south after following the detour, tides have been laid in this area. Here is the tie laying excavator at the end of the ties. Here is a pile of ties ready to be distributed and spread out. The Osprey Street crossing here will be rebuilt soon and ties are zoomed just past it with rail attached. The ties stop for Crossrip Street. Approaching Petway Street, materials are staged as part of its reconstruction. This crossing had been closed for about a week and would reopen a few hours after I passed. This is a rail welding truck. Here's another tie laying excavator and speed swing. Here's another pile of ties. And some new intermediate signals. and some more ties around the existing intermediate signal near Bridge Street. This signal will be removed when the new signaling system is put into service. Bridge Street should also be rebuilt soon, with ties now laid on either side. This track equipment was parked in Hope Sound. Materials for a new turnout are still staged here. The Gleason Street Crossing was the first one rebuilt in this area. Here's a look south from the crossing. Our last stop will be the Jupiter Drawbridge in Jupiter across the Loxahatchee River. 
This bump out will eventually hold some signal equipment. Work is going on at multiple spots on the bridge. Here they are building more barges, so more cranes can be on the water working on the bridge. Everything above the pilings will be replaced here, so multiple cranes are needed to lift out the old spans and install the new ones. By the bascule span, Work has been ongoing to install new pilings that will support the new bascule segment that will replace this one. The span is being closed on select days to give crews uninterrupted times to work on this. A short temporary trestle has been built between the tracks and the bridge I am on. Those other cranes are on another larger temporary trestle, which also provides a large flat work area. A new bridge tender building is being built here with these blocks. It will have multiple rooms to provide an area for the bridge tender to work from as well as providing storage. And here's a look back at the site. The existing bridge spans should start being replaced shortly. And another look at these barges. A small boat that will push around the barges is currently staged on top of them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.